I'm back for another video. Today I'm doing the try on haul from my recent thrift with me that I did. That video just ended up to being a little bit too long for me to do the try on haul in the same video, but I wanted to make sure to release both parts at like the same time so you guys didn't have to wait for the try on haul. I know that's my favorite part. So I wanted to make sure to give you guys that right away. If you haven't seen the thrift with me video, make sure to watch the video before this, but Without further ado, let's see the pieces that I've been gathering the last few weeks. I am gonna show you guys a purse that I thrifted a couple months ago when I was in South Carolina. I just am too excited to show you guys. It's one of my favorite thrift finds. So I wanted to make sure to show you guys even though it's not from a recent thrift adventure. So first things first, we can start out with dresses. That's something I was really excited to find. I, I have like no dresses right now that I like to wear, but this first one, is this little vintage dress. I swear my mom probably has one just like this in her closet. I might make her go look for me, <laughs> but it's like probably straight from the 90s. It's got this tag with like the threads and everything. You can just tell it's a vintage dress for sure. And it's got these little ties in the back to make it nice and fitted. I'm really excited to style it. I really wanted a vest as you guys saw in the thrift with me. I just cannot find one that fits and is like the color and cuteness that I want. I might have to find that like brand new in a store somewhere, but I am not giving up. I'm going to still try and thrift something. The next dress that I got is from um, one of those places like Plato's Closet where they like take people's donations or you know, it's more of like a consignment store. They give people money for their clothes and then they resell them, but at a much higher price than you would find at like a thrift store. But I found this dress and I just loved it. It's got this little tie in the front, little puffy sleeves, and then buttons down the front as well. This was $26, which is obviously way more than I would wanna spend at a thrift store. I don't know anything about this brand, yeah, I looked it up. It's just kind of like a little online store and their dresses go for like $80 ish. So not a bad deal. I just really love this fabric. This next dress, I wasn't actually able to try on. Um, it is all kinds of sheer, <laughs> but I, I honestly think it might be from like Shein or something. It's not great quality. It's very thin, but I just thought it was really pretty. And you know, even if I wear it once or twice, it's probably worth it but I do need to definitely get like a slip of some sort. It has a corset back to make it nice and fitted, but yeah, not, not the best quality. Probably could have passed on it, but who knows? Maybe I'll get some wear out of it. Um, maybe it'll be cute as like a Renaissance fair outfit. I don't know. I really want to go to a Renaissance fair, but I refuse to go without a great outfit, so. We'll see. As you guys know, I went to Disneyland recently and when I found this overall dress, um, I really wanted to wear it at Disneyland. We can tell why. <laughs> and I just loved it, but you know, it's a little short for me, so I never wore it, but we're in California now, so we'll be going back to Disneyland again. So maybe I'll wear it the next time we go or, you know, next time we go, that is warm. And I had so many other options that I wanted to wear and I just wanted to be comfortable. So this one did not make the cut this time, but I just thought it was so cute. If I end up like outgrowing this or whatever, um, and someone, one of you wants it, I will happily pass it along. They deserve to be worn. <laughs> and then the next piece is just this basic like rust sweater. Very nice and soft. Just kind of basic but I'm definitely lacking basics I'm kind of lacking everything in my wardrobe so I got a lot of tops this time for sure uh, this next one is a little mock neck tank top it's got the lettuce hem on the bottom this tank top is really quite short on me so I'm not sure how much wear I'll, I'll get out of it but it is good with like higher waisted items. This next piece I got was also just so 
so 80s. It has like such a worn little tag on it, but that is this dragonfly skirt. It's just like a polyester material, but it has these little almost embroidered, but I don't think they're actually embroidered, um, little dragonflies. I just thought it was very 90s with some like chunky Doc Martin sandals or something. The, the threads for the dragonflies are like a little glittery, which I like too. So happy with that purchase. This next one I'm so bummed about. Um, it is this gorgeous little shawl that like goes over a shirt or you can wear it on its own and just tie it up. It's this like ruched kind of pleated fabric, but I don't know if it was stained when I got it in the thrift store or if I ruined it in the wash, but it is like really badly stained. I don't know if it was already stained in the thrift store and I just missed it or what. Um, or if I ruined it in the wash, but it is really pretty badly stained. And I'm so sad about it because it's so pretty. So that one is a no-go, obviously, since it's so stained, but these things happen. Things get ruined in the first wash, sadly. So the next pair of pants that I got are some paper bag pants, which I know are like not popular anymore but I love them. Um, these are originally just from Target. Actually, I think it's Walmart. Time and True is Walmart. So obviously not great quality. Um, they won't fit me for very much longer, but for right now, they're really cute. I definitely try not to concern myself quite as much with like trends and just get things that I like. I mean, I'm 30 years old. I don't need to be dressing like an 18 year old. So I'm just gonna buy things that I like. I'm just gonna rapid fire go through a couple tops that I got because they don't really have like a, a great outfit that I can style them with just in this haul. But um, first one is this cute little brown, kind of looks like a linen-y material, but I doubt that it is. This is probably also originally from Walmart. So goods for life, I don't know what that is. Um, but I just thought this was cute with like some jeans, wear it to the movies type of top. And then this next one is kind of a basic black tank top, but it has like a texture to the material, which I think makes it a little bit more interesting and fun. So I picked up that tank top. This tank top I really like, it's 100% silk. I always try to keep an eye out for things like silk and cashmere in the thrift store just since they are such nice fabrics. It's a little small for me right this moment, which is why, um, you know, I don't have a try on clip of it, but I just figured it's a nice piece. I could honestly just wear it for like interviews and stuff since it is quite like a high neck, but it was worth it. I think it was like three or $4 for this top. So real silk, 100%, I figured why not? It does say dry clean only on the tag and I machine washed it. I, that's kind of my rule with thrifting. I figured this clothing has been around for a long time. More than likely someone has washed it incorrectly in its life. <laughs> and I'm sorry, I just will not be dry cleaning anything. I know myself, that's not gonna happen. So I take a chance on this clothing. If it survives a like gentle cycle in the washing machine, fantastic. If it doesn't, it wasn't meant to be in my closet, sadly. <laughs> So that's how I feel about that. That shirt seems completely fine to me, not being dry cleaned. So I'm gonna go ahead and machine wash it. I love this red long sleeve that I found. It's just like the perfect red color. And I also really like this um, neckline. It, it kind of is giving grandma a little bit, but it's just like a high neckline, but still has a little bit of additional detail, which I think is really nice. I can see me wearing this a lot, like in the winter, um, in the Christmassy months, it's such a perfect red for the holidays. And I live in California, so it rarely is gonna get that cold here. So most of the time, all I'm gonna need is just like a little long sleeve like this. I also got this very simple, basic, like kind of sage green tank top. It just felt nice and thick. It's 100% cotton. Um, Egyptian cotton actually, so kind of cool. Seemed like good quality. It is a little stiff after hanging it to dry, but hopefully that means it'll it'll last a while. And I also love this t-shirt. I think this 
I think White Stag is a Walmart brand, but I just thought this was really cute with yet again, like a higher neckline, but still a little detail to it. It's like a little bit cropped, but not too much. I just think this is such a good basic. I do kind of wish it was like a different color just cause this is very close to my skin color, but it's still cute. And I think it'll go with a lot of things. This little tank top, I'm so sad about it. I took a chance on it. I noticed some stains or some dirt like in the thrift store, but I thought maybe it just hadn't been washed. I'm gonna take it home and wash it. I just love the little scallop edges. Um, but it, unfortunately it did not come clean in the wash. So that is another one that I'm not going to be able to wear, but I tried and sometimes it's worth the money to just see if something will come clean if you really love it. But for the most part, if something is stained in the thrift store, as you guys saw in the thrift with me video, I pass on it. I'm, I'm not good at getting stains out. So maybe you guys have some tips, but for me, I pass on stained items for the most part. And then I got this really cute little Halloween shirt. I am not big on Halloween. I almost never have a costume or anything. So I might just wear this shirt and these overalls for Halloween. Um, we're just gonna go over to, we're just gonna go over to TJ's sister's house more than likely, probably see my nephew, see what he's dressed up as for his first Halloween. But other than that, it's just gonna be hanging out at the house. So that's probably what I'll be wearing. I got this really cute little slip dress. It's originally from Target. Nice little beige lace on the top and on the bottom. I thought this would be really cute to someday wear like styled going out. I've seen a lot of people use slip dresses as like an actual dress. So I don't know, maybe one day I'll be brave and try this out, but in the meantime, it's cute to sleep in, so I thought it was worth it. This is probably my favorite thing that I've found recently. It is so grandma. It's very oversized. I do think that my grandmother would love this, but she can't have it because it's fine. <laughs> I just really love all of the embroidered details on this jacket. And it really inspires me to do something similar with these overalls. I just think it would be really fun to do hand embroidery on the pockets, just all over really. I just think that would be super fun. And then someday when these don't fit me anymore, I could do a giveaway for them. I don't know if you guys would want hand embroidered overalls that I've worn a million times, but I just love pieces like this with lots of character. So I hope I wear this a lot, especially during the fall. It's like so autumnal, all the colors. So. I really like it. This was another piece that I got from that like Plato's Closet type place. So it was also $26, which is just so ridiculous, but you can probably find things like that at just about any thrift store. I'm definitely overpaid for that piece, but what can you do? Okay, and these are the last pair of pants that I thrifted. I am so excited about them. They are just these checkered cotton, 100% cotton. Um, I think they're high rise, straight leg, pants and I'm obsessed with them. They don't fit me currently. I can get them like halfway up my legs, but then they stop. So we'll see if I fit into them. As you guys know, I am on like a weight loss journey right now. So I have hope that someday I'll be able to wear these so cool, just like funky pants. And they just feel very high quality. So I had to pick them up. Okay, the last two things that I'll show you guys are purses. This one I also got from a Plato's Closet. Actually, it was a Plato's Closet in um, North Carolina. It is a Disney World coach purse. And originally I thought, oh, did someone put these patches on there? Like that is crazy. But no, Coach actually did a collab with Disney. I'm not sure when, but I think these are pretty new. It is new with tags. So I, I did pay like a decent amount of money for this. But I, I toyed with the idea of having it be a gift. I toyed with the idea of reselling it after wearing it to Disneyland. But you know, I, I think I just am gonna keep it. We wanna go to Disneyland more often now that we're back in California and I just think it's such a perfect Disneyland purse. It is Disney World. I've never been to Disney World. 
but I still just think it's such a perfect Disney purse. So I might have to keep it. It doesn't fit a ton. It's got this front pocket and then this main pocket. Not a ton fits in here, but pretty much everything you need to walk around Disneyland. I definitely did still need TJ's backpack when I carried that to carry like my bigger items, like my water bottle. And this last item is kind of my prized possession. Uh, this might be my best thrift find ever. And that is this vintage coach purse. It is from 2002 and it was made in Costa Rica. And if you know anything about coach purses, vintage coach purses, you will know that Costa Rica purses are pretty coveted and sought after. Just the leather is so nice. When I felt this in the thrift store, I instantly could tell that it was coach. Really actually what I saw was the strap. And I don't know, there's something about coaches straps that I could just tell like a mile away <laughs> that they're coach. So when I saw this one, I had, I had never heard of or seen this style before. I had seen other purses with these like grommets on the side. I thrifted another purse with these grommets that ended up being fake. Um, if you want a video about how I authenticate my coach purses, I can definitely do that when I'm out and thrifting. Um, I will definitely make a video about that. I will say coach purses where I'm at are hard to find, so it might be difficult for me to find, you know, examples in the wild, but I can at least show you like from my collection, the things to look for, and then also give you my tips and tricks on where I get my stuff authenticated by experts. But anyways, I just love this front pocket. I think it is so versatile. I love throwing like my phone in here when I'm out and about my keys. It's just not as convenient. I have other coach purses with like the turn lock on the front and it's just not as convenient to throw things in those purses. They are absolutely stunning and I love them for like a fancier event. I just think they are more elevated, but this is such a good like daily basic bag. And I was really happy to find that it had the original hang tag with it. My only complaint is I wish this was the brass hardware. I am not a big nickel girl, but I love it still. I wear it so often. If it had brass hardware, I probably would never take it off. But since it is nickel, I do switch it out with some other bags that have brass hardware. But I just love that I found this bag. I didn't even tell you guys how much I spent. When I found this bag, I was shocked to learn that it was $12. <laughs> and that is just South Carolina thrift stores for you. The only thing wrong with it is on the back, there's a little bit of paint that I haven't been able to get out with just regular cleaning. So that's the only problem, but it's on the back. So I don't really care. I wore this into the coach store not that long ago. And when the employees came up to me and, and talked about this purse with me, I told them that I found it at a thrift store for $12 and they could not believe it. So this is probably one of my prized possessions. All my other like most favorite coach purses I've bought online, I didn't thrift them. The ones that I've thrifted I like, but they're not like my most favorite purses. So this one was a really good find in the wild and just fueled that vintage coach thrifting addiction. And I've been disappointed ever since. So the last two items are what I'm wearing. I have these amazing black overalls. I was so happy to find them in the store. I love overalls and especially black overalls. I don't know, they just are more elevated to me. I feel like I can pull them off easier. I, I don't know what it is, but I love that these overalls have this little buckle in the back to kind of tighten the back a little. Sometimes overalls can be not the most flattering just because of the way they like tent out on your back but i really like how this little buckle kind of cinches it in a little i did wear these to disneyland and i swear i was getting a bruise on my spine from this buckle digging into my back um you know on like the hard seats and stuff so that wasn't the best but i love these overalls i'll be wearing them until they fall apart or until they don't fit whichever one comes first and like I said, I really would love to embroider them. So if you guys want a video of me just embroidering these overalls, let me know. I would love to do that. That's going to take a lot of time to film. But if you guys are interested, 
I mean, I would love to do that. It would be like a little thrift flip video. So let me know down below if you're interested. I also got this floral button down. It's just very basic. It's 100% cotton. I just really like the colors of it. And I don't know, I just love floral prints. So when I saw it, I knew I had to have it and I like it styled with these overalls. All right, so that is it for this thrift try on haul. I hope you loved it. Please let me know if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. That lets me know if you liked it and leave a comment down below if you want more videos like this or let me know what other kind of videos you want to see from me. All right, see you guys on the next one. Bye.